The sky is darkening over this home at the base of the Strzelecki Ranges, and that means it's time for Rod Stubbings to get to work. An entirely self-taught astronomer, he can examine up to 300 stars each night from his backyard observatory. If it's a clear night, I'll go out all night because I've got to juggle around the clouds as well. But tracking the night sky can come at a cost. I still get two or three hours sleep, but then funny enough, your, um, your body adjusts to that little pattern. Rod has balanced astronomy with being a plumber for more than 30 years. But now, this Gippsland tradie has been formally recognised by the Astronomical Society of Australia for his contribution to studies of the stars. It feels uh, really nice to receive this award and uh, get recognition for what I do. For professional astronomers like Dr Tanya Hill, Rod's recordings are invaluable. He knows these star fields so intricately. He works from memory, looking through his telescope without any gadgets. An unusual method for a modern astronomer. But I'm actually looking in real time and if something happens on the night, I just go and report it straight away. Rod has made more than 400,000 measurements of the brightness of variable stars and worked with professional astronomers from around the globe who have sought his advice on the movements of the night sky. The sky is really big and there is so much out there to see and we just don't have uh, enough telescopes to be observing the sky all the time. And he has no plans to stop stargazing anytime soon. There's lots of stars that I haven't seen yet and if I don't go out, I won't see it. An astronomy superstar. Georgia Lenton-Williams, ABC News, Gippsland.